We're going to start with a handstand, walking your feet up the wall and pressing your hips tight to the wall and squeezing your legs and pointing your feet. They may peek at their fingertips. Make sure their hands are close enough to the wall so that they can get into a tall shape and they may roll to come down. Next we're going to do a lunge kick to handstand. They only need to hit 11 o'clock and then finish in a lunge again. Nice straight arms, tight legs, they do not need to hold. They just need to hit 11 o'clock and have their feet come together. Next we're going to do a cartwheel over a flat object, like a carpet square. Again, you could draw with a chalk block. And then we're going to do forwards and backwards bounders off of a panel mat. This is working on keeping them tight, learning how to punch the floor out of a round off. Then we're going to move over to a bridge and hold their front leg up for five seconds. Making sure that their arms are all the way straight, nice tall shoulders and lifting that leg for five seconds. Next, we're going to do a timer for a back handspring, jumping up to their back, making sure that it's about waist height. They need to learn how to bend their legs and push off, throwing their arms at the same time. Then we're going to do back handspring to turtle over the boulder with spot, making sure that their hands are touching the floor before they snap their toes down, pushing nice and tall to that turtle. Next, we're gonna start in a straight stand, forward roll to straight stand making sure that they're keeping their knees and feet together. Then we're going to do a backward roll down a wedge, making sure that their knees are tucked in nicely and finishing in a straight stand. Focusing on hands pushing flat on the mat. Then we're going to do a back bend with spot, feet apart, arms nice and tall, and reaching back for the soft eight inch mat. Two different options of spotting there. 